I want to start by thanking my subscribers for uh, sending in the comments. I read all the comments. I just don't have time to answer a lot of the comments. Uh, but one comment I did get was uh, one of the subscribers wanted me to uh, talk about different transistor configurations. And there's basically three types. You have your, your common collector, common base, and common emitter. So I thought I'd try to put them all together in one circuit, use three transistors, and use each uh, way to bias a transistor and see if I could make something work out of that. Now, you know, I call this my Rube Goldberg circuit because uh, it's a unnecessarily complicated circuit. And, uh, you know, well, we'll see what it does here. But I started off with this, uh, this common collector, our emitter follower. And what this configuration does, the transistor allows current to flow from the collector to the emitter until the emitter voltage is uh, 0.6 volts or whatever this dial drop is less than the base voltage. So this um, this emitter voltage here is going to be uh, 0.6 volts less than the uh, than the base voltage here. Okay. And then I come over to this common base or grounded base here. So the base is just grounded here. Now on a grounded base, the uh, this is a uh, common base here and a transistor is basically two back to back diodes, you know. But if you put a positive on each side and negative in the middle, you'll just get a little bit of uh, small reverse current going through there. Nothing's going to happen. And if you put your positive on the base and you have your uh, negative on the collector and emitter, you're going to get a current to flow uh, in both directions. But uh, then again, nothing's going to happen. So what you need is you need to have uh, a negative on the emitter, positive on the collector, and negative and positive on, the, on this ground here. That has to be grounded. So in order to do that, I'm using a uh, dual power supply, so I made it out of a set of batteries. So I have positive and negative, and negative to positive here, and the negative and positive here are tied together here. So these happen to be 12 volts. So from here to here, I'm going to have 24 volts, and from here to here, I'll have 12 volts, and from here to here, I'll have 12 volts. And this will be negative, this will be positive, and then on this side, this is positive and negative here. So I'm using, that's what I'm using to, uh, for this uh, common base. Now, on a common base, the current gain, uh, we call that alpha, and uh, it, on a common emitter, it's, it's beta, okay? So uh, the alpha is going to be equal to uh, the beta of the transistor divided by 1 plus the beta of the transistor. So if the transistor has a, a beta of, say, 100, then we just take uh, 101, divide that into 100, and it comes out to about you know, 0.99. Even if this is just 10, a beta of 10, then, you know, uh, 11 goes into 10, it's going to be about 0.9. So your your current gain is going to be pretty much equal to 1, okay? So uh, no, no current gain on this, this unit here, but I do, I'll do get some voltage gain through here. Now, in order to be able to use this uh, dual, dual power supply, I used a common emitter with a, with a dual voltage supply on it. So I have your, my positive up here coming into the collector, and then I have the negative down here tied to the emitter down here. And uh, out here, I'm going to have, uh, when I turn it on, I'm going to get plus 12 volts. And then if I turn the switch on and activate this thing through here, this is going to go negative, and we're going to have negative uh, 12 volts here. So it's going to be a pulse like this. So I'm going to go positive, negative, positive, negative. And I just put a couple uh, diodes in here, uh, reverse there. Now, I took this uh, 10K and I brought that back to the emitter here, to the base. And I did that so that I could get the, uh, the uh, common ground to work over here. There is, uh, this side here is actually negative. We got positive and negative here. So I get current flow through there. Now, on a regular um, common emitter, I know I have that one in a kind of an odd uh, configuration there, but if you're going to make a common emitter uh, power um, amplifier, you do it more like this. So you'd have your your AC here coming in and AC coming out here, and your your uh, t plus 12 volts on the top here for your collector, minus 12 volts down here, and the uh, you would take your uh, base here to ground. Okay. So, and then you you'd get your um, your signal over on this side here. So this is normally how you'd run a uh, an emitter uh, biased with two supplies. But uh, 
I'm doing it a little differently so I could get this uh, the common base here to work right. And uh, but uh, I think I've got them all three in there, and uh, we'll actually see how it works. This is a little unconventional here, but uh, I had to do that to uh, to get that common uh, base or grounded base to work. So here's the unit right here, and you can see that the uh, the red lights on that's actually plus 12 volts there and if I push the switch I get a uh, I get the green light to come on so the red and green it goes uh, plus 12 volts minus 12 plus 12 minus 12 so uh, now one thing you can't can do with this circuit is um, you know you don't need all this stuff but you could just use this and maybe a, uh, a buffer here like this and uh, Put a, a TTL circuit in here, say five volts, and then uh, out here just a pulse, uh, five volt pulse, and then on this side you'd get the a plus and minus swing like you need on a uh, RS232. So you could you know go with 15 volts, and so you'd have a, fi a five volt uh, pulse coming in, and then you'd get your uh, plus and minus pulse out here, your RS232 uh, signal out on, on this side. Of course, that'd only be one line, so you'd need probably need more than one line, but uh, uh, other than that, it's uh, basically a useless circuit, but it's uh, uh, just kind of fun to put it together like that and see how it uh, see how it works. So uh, that's uh, the uh, common collector, and this one's a common base, and then a common emitter here. And uh, I can uh, get plus 12 and, and minus 12 volts on there. So that's uh, that's it. Uh, thank you.